months into the first Trump term, top Democrats in the money media seem obsessed with the administration's putative ties to Vladimir Putin. And here was I, thinking the White House ties to mad misogynists and the KKK were going to be their problem. One cabinet pick has already been dropped for having conversations with Russians rather than being utterly unqualified. And Jeff Sessions is under scrutiny for lying in his confirmation hearing. Perjury is bad, but being a pathological, racist, red-baiting, xenophobe opponent of the Voting Rights Act should have been more than enough to disqualify Sessions from becoming Attorney General. New York Times columnist Thomas Friedman has compared alleged Russian hacking to 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. The Obama administration, concerned about Russian meddling in our politics, seems to have done everything it could to greenlight the leaking of secret intelligence, which should be a scandal in and of itself, shouldn't it? Unless we think that using national intelligence for political purposes is okay as long as they're the right political purposes. That'll never come back to haunt us. Just about everyone has a stake in keeping the obsession going. Everyone, that is, except for we, the public. Hillary Clinton supporters get to blame Putin for her defeat in November. Democrats get to put off considering what, apart from Russians, might have swung the election. Trump keeps the focus on himself, his favorite thing. And the Republicans, well, for as long as the public and our media are pondering possible Putin crimes, the longer we're distracted from all the two real crimes coming down the pike against sanity, ecology, and civil society, thanks to new GOP laws and practice. Let's not forget that both the U.S. and Russia have nuclear weapons. I don't know, I just thought it might be worth a mention. The Bulletin of Atomic Scientists moved its doomsday clock half a minute closer to doomsday in January, the closest it's been to the end of humanity since the birth of the arms race. Ratchet up the Russiaphobia too far, and it could have some unfortunate consequences. I'm Laura Flanders. Write to me. Tell me what you think. Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at lauraflanders.com. And check out our website for all of our archives and information on how you can subscribe to our free weekly podcast. Thanks. I'm Laura Flanders.